I look in here? Am I looking my best? Okay. I don't look. I don't go on camera until I look my best. You might want to just uh, like this. You've there seen, you go. Because you've seen me a few times. They don't have any. I mean, I trust your opinion that I think I think I look my best right now. Yeah, the goatee is looking pretty uh, well, clean. Well, this isn't a goatee. Oh, excuse me. It's not connected. I'm not in creed or anything. You know what I mean? There's an all-important disconnect between the mustache and the beard. And note that I am graying. And when I first played Ann Arbor, I was a sweet-faced You're a young man. Sprite. <laughs> sprite of the woods with the... Facial hair to match. Piano recital? Okay. Um, I promised you the day we met, Mark, that I would play the theme for Hill Street Blues for you. You did. And um, I know that I haven't delivered on that because I haven't, I hadn't worked it out. Well, you did play it for me on, until the, now. on, the, on the kit. Right. Well, I played a Balinese gong, my, my gong ensemble did a version of it. Um, we got a grant to do a version of a lot of, a lot of the Stephen J. Cannell productions uh, at, 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 within the Balinese gong ensemble tradition. And um, I exhausted those grant possibilities, blew the whole thing, you and I. Remember that? Um, this is great. New Orleans. to it. Let's hear Hill Street Blues, Hill Street Blues, you done never had the blues until you had Hill Street Blues. Some people, some people claim to have the blues, but they don't really know what the blues is. Because until You and I are pretty, still pretty demoralized by the Vikings' loss. We watched it in Italy together at 3 in the morning. Reed was calling for the center sneak. Right, Reed? Yeah, that, was, that would have been my move. Centers, we were thinking that there weren't enough fake punts in that game. <clears throat> not enough center sneaks, not enough Hail Marys. Yep. If it will run a Hail Mary... If they run a Hail Mary every play, and then a couple fake Hail Marys, can you imagine and the outcome? Sneak, go like a 50-yard center. Oh, right, because it's not close in. Ethan, I had a quick question for you. Yeah. You and, I, you and I have been friends a long time. Yeah. A lot of times people confuse me with you and vice versa. Is that not true? It's true. Or at the very least, they think we're brothers. Exactly. Well... It's time that we that? reveal the truth. <laughs> right? That's right. Ethan and I are blood brothers. Bro. Yeah, bro. bro. <laughs> and that means we took a blood oath in 1989 or 1990. We were totally pretty tanked. And he slit my wrist, which I thought was... Like, kind of in dense moves. Supposed to just prick the finger. It was my first time I hadn't done that yeah. before, so I thought it was yeah. just the wrist. I just had seen that in movies. You, people cut their wrist. I thought right. that's how you did it. No, no. You prick the finger, and then we bleed a little bit on our yeah, hands. Exactly. Time. Anyway, we, he slit my wrist, but we did it quick. And then how we really solidified our relationship is we, we went to, he drove me to the emergency room, and he told me he was sorry. And then we went and did uh, bungee jumping. That's right, we sure do. We do a lot of extreme sports together, me and Ethan. We do bungee jumping. Um, we started an off-off-Broadway um, uh, uh, production of Cliffhanger, um, where we were guys that, uh, you know, got into extreme shit on the, you know, out, out on mountaintops. Cliffs. Well, technically more cliffs. Anyway, a lot of the time when we're on the road, tell them, Ethan, what we'll do well, if we got a day is, off. All right, there was cliffhanger, but there's also paper hanger, which oh, means that uh, 
Here let's we just are say, in yeah, Hartford. exactly. I'm just going to say, yeah. we're going to write as many checks as we yeah, can. Yeah, exactly. That will bounce. So exactly. Blow town. That's our thing. Yeah. Our new thing is that we. I would say the best thing to give me is a, is a little of the Shirtler and a little of the DI, please. That's code. What he just said right there was, "Give me some unmarked 20s Hey. Hey. And I was a cool town. I like it. Nice caves. Nice forests. Good places to hibernate. How do you like my hat? Yeah. Cool, Daddy. Jazz out. Oh. Oh. That's a tragedy right there, you know what I mean, man? One minute you're talking, talking some smack, and the next minute, you know what I mean, Reed? That's the you know? cycle of life and death. That's the cycle Speaking of life. Speaking of which, yeah. it's time to write a set. Yeah, let's write a set. Okay. Wait! We have one minute. Why do these people need a, a Bad Plus logo t-shirt in the dead of winter? Oh, because of the layering concept. I mean, I'm layering, see, I have a, I have a, a Rush shirt on under this. Do you, does uh, having Neil Peart close to your heart make you drum better? Um, it just makes me, uh, it's more like a, a physical attraction. <laughs> Sugar. There's no Splenda. I mean, just go ahead. It's built by raw sugar. I just I pour raw sugar in it's, like, it's cracked. It cracks. Yeah, seriously, it hurts your hand. It, it, it hurts your hand. It hurts my hand. To Look, touch just it. keep this going. <laughs> That's after a couple of packets of raw sugar. <laughs> But if it's refined sugar, sugar no, it refined, goes the opposite like way. Exactly. With refined sugar, <laughs> it drops here. down like this. It's HD. How much would you pay Is for it one really? of these things? Yeah, exactly. How much would you pay? What's, what's uh -oh. it worth to you? It's kind of you? priceless. What's it worth to you? In fact, what's Mark it worth might to us? sell it's it to you right now. Mark, why don't you get a little wide shot of me right here? Let me show you. You got my chest? <laughs> That's definitely got to go in the box. How about that? That's how much I'll pay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.